you know, they get to the material sensor, you need to go to the right front seat. So you have a amplifier that needs to be taken out. There's a couple of screws, and then the sensor sits underneath the, there. And then you need to do these two screws, and then you can get to the sensor. Yes, and then you just fish it out from underneath there. And then there's the sense, uh, sensor sits here. Don't put the ignition on and jump around the sensor, twist, etc. It can lead you into troubles. Anywho, so um, there is a plug. The first thing to check is, is the plug is not corroded because it sits down, it's down there, so there can be the moisture in the floor. Sometimes the sunroof drains are blocked and that's why the motor sits here and then it's corrodes the, the pins here. So let's check those. I rigged up here the test light and then I put one wire into the... Uh, I'll rig the probe so I'm using the small wire of steel. So and basically you yeah. put one to the gray and white plug there and the one in the gray. And see if there is a voltage coming out. The best one as well is to do with the light source because that's the load in this case. And then it's, then it's gonna uh, show you that uh, there is the uh, voltage coming out. Uh, to the unit in there. A little bit that can happen as well. Uh, sometimes the wire corrodes and then. Um, there's only one strain left, so it, if you measure with the voltmeter, so it has very low uh, load, so it shows you that there is, a, uh, let's say, the continuity in wire, etc. But it's only one strain, so it doesn't really let you the, the higher current going through it, the wire. Uh, the wire. So here uh, looks like our feed, our power is okay to the sensor so now we need to check the communication part of the okay so now it shows 0 0.37 ohms it's very little so it's almost like a shortening and if i go on here closer to the sim so we have one plug that goes to the sensors and goes into the backcam backcam back control module bcm uh, so open this one up to see if there's any changes on this one and now we see it's open so good and it means our issue is further up where we have this wire going into the there into the engine compartment so let's investigate that one so guys i was scanning the the wire so to speak and it was short and it was short and I was trying to wiggle here and then it started to change so okay I took the part this plug uh, and it's sort of like a double so here you see it's from the face and then it goes over this one and look over that found someone has been already here and then the purpose has put here the jumper and then put over this one so I couldn't see actually, so that's why the can was not communicating to the, the actual sensor was not communicating to the BCM. Let's take it out and see if it works. so not always the sensors are the ones that need to be blamed for and sometimes also there some other people has been into the places they shouldn't be and done things they shouldn't in these cases in this case as I said so we found out that okay, there's no sensor issue it was a wiring issue so we uh, managed to find where it was the wiring issue and it was quite easy to fix but it was quite hard actually to get it and understand uh, this is one way how we can fix the error message on the XC90 and it uh, complains about the uh, sensor. Anywho, take care guys.
don't do bad jobs, do only good jobs and take care. Bye.